Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. If you're new here, today is going to be my Vegan Cuts February unboxing. This is a totally vegan, cruelty-free beauty box. There's a lot of skincare, hair care, makeup, like just a very well-rounded box, if you will. Um, I will have a link down below and pricing down a link to the prices. I pay $20 a month because I do like a six-month plan. Um, otherwise, like for an individual box, it's like $22.50. If you do a yearly plan, it's like $18 something. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. I'm always so excited when these come in. Like subscription boxes are truly one of the best treats to yourself. Okay, so there's always a card in here. I try not to glance at it until I need to look at like the price and stuff. Wow. Uh, what? This, everything is so cute. They really do package it nicely. And these boxes, by the way, since Christmas, you know, was relatively recently. I save these to wrap gifts in, and they are the best because there's already the nice, like, little, um, what do you call this? I don't know what you call this. The, the funfetti, something like that, in there. So, yeah, these are, like, the perfect size. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is this Art Naturals Cone Jack facial sponge set an exfoliating deep cleansing plant fiber that is ph level balanced soft and gentle made from 100 percent pure edible vegetable roots for all skin types that is that's pretty interesting so this is a 10 dollar value let's crack into this so i currently work at sephora and we sell something like this i think from bosha well, they have their jelly ball cleanser, so that's probably not the same thing, but for some reason it reminds me of that. Um, let's see. Oh, so there's also a hook to, like, hang these to dry, which is kind of how that one is, too. Let me see, what does it say? So I think there's two of them in there, so that's awesome. They are chemical-free, totally natural. It says, use the pure white sponge daily and the bamboo charcoal sponge weekly for deep cleansing. I'm actually really excited to try these because I've seen some of these going around, but like I just would never have bought it myself, but I'm actually pretty excited to give that a go. Um, I am planning some videos now where I'm updating you guys on my Vegan Cuts products, like maybe like every two to three months, like just the last couple boxes and like kind of an overview of what I've tried and what like, you know, if I liked it or not. That way you guys know if it was any good. Um, ooh, this is the Seva blessed by nature relaxing foot balm this could not have come at a better time my feet are so dry i will say i did exfoliate my feet and then put them in socks with a bunch of petroleum jelly and my feet were a lot better in the morning but let's see how this goes this is a 17 dollar 50 uh 1750 value so it's a foot balm with neem oil and candelua extract to both soothe and refresh dry feet and heels i need this it's also antibacterial and anti-inflammatory has cocoa butter, avocado oil. Well, that's exciting. I wonder what this smells like. Not that you really smell your feet because they're, you know, kind of far away from you, but. It smells pretty nice. So that's kind of what that looks like. Um, it's just like a solid kind of bomb. Once you kind of warm it up with your fingers, it turns into a soft kind of shiny. <laughs> liquid but that feels nice on my hand at least yeah i'm excited for that i'm gonna use that tonight because oops i dropped the lid i'm using that tonight because my feet i've been struggling with now i'm very intrigued by this one mainly because it's wrapped and i don't think i've ever gotten anything that's like wrapped before in here so let's see what we got this is so cute okay the packaging for this company, look, it has like a little note. It says, thanks for trying GV, J-I-V-I. -I. I'm probably saying that wrong, sorry. Here's a 20% off your first order. Use code VEGANCUTS at meetgv.com through May 1st of this year. <laughs> okay. Like, okay, that's actually so cute that it was wrapped. That actually makes me really happy. Wow, that's a good clip. So this little package says, GV, skincare is so natural you can actually eat it. That reminds me of Bite Beauty, um, the lip, like the brand at Sephora that sells all like lip products because everything there is food grade as well. That's really cool. It says, buy a bottle, give a meal. So they give back to the community when you buy. Oh. 
and then they have like a guide to different um, like face products and stuff that they carry. So apparently this is the exfoliating face wash lemon. Oh, this smells like lemons. I can't smell anything yet, but maybe it does smell like lemons. Um, so it has eucalyptus, mint, lemongrass, pineapple, and papaya to exfoliate, chickpea flower, and fuller's earth to pull out oils and toxins. And with um, time, you can prevent acne breakouts as well, which speaks to me because I've been breaking up very badly. Thank you, hormones. I love you. Um, <laughs> So this is 1.7 fluid ounces. That's a quite quite a bit. The first ingredient is actually aloe vera. It says gently massage one to two pumps into face and neck for 30 to 45 seconds. Rinse thoroughly and pat dry. Admire yourself. You look good. I love the branding on this product and that it was wrapped. That makes me really happy. Okay, so this is a $12 value. I wonder if this is something you use every day. I'm going to... It seems like it's supposed to be a pretty gentle, like, exfoliating face wash, so I would assume you can wear this. Like, I'm almost out of my charcoal daily face scrub, so I'll probably replace it with this, because I have, like, a couple uses left on that. So that's exciting. I'm, I'm all for it. I like getting skincare in these kits, because I don't like buying skincare that much. So, this gives me, like, constant new face cleansers, new exfoliators, and I don't have to, I can try out a bunch of stuff, and I'm also really sensitive skin-wise, so this way I can try something out and not feel terrible if it doesn't work for me, or because it's a smaller size or something. Oh, this is the Luscious Pout Maker Lip Contour Crayon, and this is in the shade Perky. So that's the packaging. This reminds me of the Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner packaging for some reason. Sorry, I'm comparing everything to something in Sephora right now. I don't know. My brain's like on overdrive. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so let's see. Ooh. Looks like it's going to be a nude color. Please don't be super brown. Please don't be super brown. It looks, well, so it's a very pointed. I actually expected that to be a little bit more like a chubby stick kind of thing, but. Oh, that's pretty. So it's, it is. It's definitely like a nude, but it has like a, a little bit more of a pink undertone to it. So it's like a pinky brown nude. <laughs> Hopefully that makes any sense at all. But that's that's actually really pretty. And it went on really smoothly, so it's not crazy, crazy um, opaque. Like if you go down on it, it's more of a soft finish. So you would have to fill it in a little bit more to get like a darker one. But, you know, it just depends what you're looking for. It doesn't claim to be fully opaque, so that could just be the style. But I'm excited to try that. I don't honestly have something like this in my collection. Like, I don't think in terms of, like, the way it's presented. So that's kind of interesting. Um, that is a $12 value. It is matte. And it's supposed to be easy to, like, you know, fill in your lips with because of that point. So, yay. That reminds me of my... Why is everything reminding me of something? Like, the e.l.f. The, lip, the matte like lip pencils, the $3 ones, I really like those. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Oh, Derma E. That's actually who my char my charcoal face scrub is by that I've repurchased because I love it. Um, this is the Hydrating Derma E Hydrating Night Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. Oh, love hyaluronic acid. So this is a $7.50. Um, and it's supposed to reduce the look of fine lines and wrinkles. Apply a rich layer onto clean face and neck. Awesome. It's GMO free as well. Let's see what this looks like. So it just looks like a pretty typical moisturizer to me. How s Okay, so this is ac this is a pretty like thick cream. Like it's not like a gel, it's not like a thin cream. This is like pretty thick, which which I don't mind even with my oily skin. I like to use something that's a little bit richer at night because you know, your, time, your face is time to soak it all in. That feels really nice. What does that smell? It's not the lipstick. Mmm. It almost has this touch of, like, peppermint candy smell. Does it, it doesn't have the ingredients on here, does it? No, it doesn't because it's a sample. I'm going crazy. It smells like a little bit of, like a little bit like peppermint candy to me. Okay, well. <sighs> I don't know. 
I'm really hyper right now. I don't think I should have not have had chocolate and peanut butter before this. This was a bad idea. I'm sorry. Okay, so that is the end of the box. So five products this time, $20. What do we think? Okay, so I'm definitely really excited for this. This is like probably the standout product to me. Like this, I don't know if it's the branding. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, I'm like really excited about this. Like I have a really good feeling about this working for me for some reason. So that I am thrilled about. The spongy thingamaboppers, <laughs> I'm actually pretty excited for because like I said, that's another reason why I love subscri subscription boxes. Like I would have never picked out this color probably for myself. I would not have picked these up probably, even though they were curious to me I've, as I've seen them with other brands. So I'm excited for that. The lip um, pout pencil thing, I'm pretty excited for. I'm not sure about the color. But I think in the lighter version, I think it's pretty. We'll see. I think I can. I think I can pull it off. The foot bomb. Oh yeah, yeah. The foot bomb. I am all about. My feet need some help. I've been trying this last week, and it's not been the most successful operation. So that is promising. And then the night cream. I can always. I'm almost out of some. I'm. I'm. I'm like getting to the end of a lot of skincare. So you'll see that in my empty soon. So I'm excited. I mean, overall. Overall, is it my absolute favorite box I've ever gotten from them? No, but is it pretty decent? I think so. So yeah, as an overall, I will, do love these. I will update you guys in the near future, so definitely make sure you subscribe for more of these unboxings and a update on how everything went and how it worked for me. Um, yeah, so overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, not my absolute favorite box, but still pretty darn good. And I think I've been doing this vegan cuts box for at, le at least a year, year and a half now. And overall, it's my favorite subscription service I've ever had. So that's why I keep coming back to it. I buy the six months and then I'm like, do I resubscribe? And I'm like, yes, you really like this. And you guys seem to also enjoy it. I, you know, everyone unboxes Ipsy and BoxyCharm and FabFitFun. I like seeing other boxes. Like, I watched someone do a Goddess Provisions box recently. I like doing the Petite Vore boxes. Like, I just, I want to see something a little different. I still like watching those if they're, like, a favorite of mine. But, you know, this is an interesting box. I really do like it, and I, st I stand behind it. I think it's a really good service overall. I've been very pleased. Definitely know that this is not like an all makeup box like clearly the one makeup product out of five most of it is skincare body care hair care weird unusual things like i've gotten deodorant toothpaste teeth whitening the little spongy things in the set there's always like one really unique item that i like like i like getting that like i'm excited to get that teeth last month there was a teeth whitening thing that like strips which I was very excited for because currently I have a few more of my crest strips to use up I've had those since I've gone cruelty free and I've just been slowly going through them because I don't use them that much but I'm excited to use those because those are you know a little more natural they're cruelty free they're vegan etc so anyways sorry to ramble I hope you enjoyed this unboxing let me know down below do you get any subscription services? What do you think of the stuff in here? And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content soon. And I'll see you soon. Bye.